What's up guys? This is David from DW Fitness. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through one of my favorite calisthenic movements, the muscle up. Even though I enjoy physique and strength, lifting for strength and powerlifting, I also enjoy doing calisthenic work here and there and muscle ups are one of my favorites. So I wanted to share with you guys a very simple tutorial. Muscle ups are amazing for targeting your back, your chest, your biceps, and your triceps. The first biggest tip I would give once you build the strength to develop a muscle up and do one is starting with a thumbless grip because thumbless grips for the muscle up will allow you to easily pull yourself over the bar and your thumb won't impede you from getting over the bar. The second biggest tip I want to just mention is creating separation and pulling away from the bar really is beneficial when you're trying to do a muscle up because to get yourself over that bar you need to use your back to the fullest potential and creating some separation and pulling yourself over is key. So those are the two biggest tips I want to share with you guys before I share with you guys a very basic progression. So I'm going to share with you guys a very basic progression based around the principle of specificity and one that I utilize to get the muscle up as well. So this first movement I'm showing here is just a very basic scapular pull up. In this next movement you're going to see I'm using that same concept in the lat pull down. In the scapular pull up it's extremely important to start by retracting the scapula back and down in order to create that shoulder sc stability and scapular stability. As you can see in the lat pull down here I'm still retracting the scapula first and then pulling down. This will help you create stability, prevent injuries and also really target your back properly and help you to build your back because if you're trying to do a muscle up you need to develop good back strength you need to be able to know how to activate your back to utilize it for, to the fullest potential to help you get up there in the muscle up so i would recommend for the lap pull down really focusing on engaging the back and slowly progressing up in weight now once you can start pulling your own body weight and really engage your back at the same time and this becomes easier for you this is when i would recommend you move on you can move on to body weight pull-ups and body weight pull-ups the same concept applies so again focusing on retracting the scapula back and down engaging the mid traps the lower traps the rhomboids and mid back and really utilizing your entire back to build strength. You should be able to do at least 10 pull-ups or so around there before you go into a muscle-up. So once you get pull-ups down, if you really want to be good at muscle-ups, I would recommend you work towards becoming good at weighted pull-ups as well. Explode. Focus on explosion with these pull-ups all the time. If you're really trying to get a muscle-up, focus on explosion because you need to develop that speed and quickness and if you can do that with weight, then you will be able to transfer that over when you're actually trying to do a muscle up. And one recommendation I have for you guys is to stick within the one to five rep range to really focus on explosion and strength. This will really help. Once you get great at pull-ups and weighted pull-ups, I would recommend if you have one available to use a band. A band can be extremely beneficial to help you practice grooving the movement before you go into an actual muscle up. It can also help you really focus on creating that separation because with that band that's assisting you, it's a lot easier to focus on the technical aspects of the muscle up like creating separation. So I bought this band myself, I'll link it below, but you can start with just one foot in there if you want or you can even start with two feet in there. I would recommend you work up to getting one foot in there and then getting to a muscle up because having just one foot in there you can focus on utilizing a little bit of leg drive with the opposite foot to help you practice that motion as well which can be beneficial when you're just starting out and doing a muscle up. Now when you're doing a muscle up I really strongly do not recommend kipping because this can lead to injury and instability and hurt your shoulders if you kip a lot. And so I really focus on, I'd really recommend focusing on keeping the muscle up controlled. And a band can really help assist you in doing this. If you don't have a band, you can also practice just trying to groove the movement through jumping into the muscle up if you have a lower bar, or doing negative eccentric muscle ups to help you really control the motion downwards. And over time, guys, with patience and consistency, if you practice these movements, you will attain your goal of doing a muscle up. This is just an example I'm showing you guys of a chest movement to help you with the dip and that is the dip itself. Again, focusing on the principle of specificity 
but if you have a decently strong chest and you just get yourself over the bar you shouldn't have that much of a problem with the dip portion as the momentum will transfer over i truly hope this helps guys thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys all soon i wish you the best in your goal of getting a muscle up